everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and today I want to do an overview of the new Step Effects plugin in Logic Pro 10. This plugin came out with the new Logic 10.4 release. I also did a full 17 part course for MacProVideo.com where I go deep into Step Effects and explore pretty much everything there is to know about this plugin. So if you're interested in, in something like that, there's a link to the full course in the video description below. So step effects is a step modulator. It functions and sounds a lot like a step sequencer. However, it's different in that it doesn't affect or create MIDI data. It does affect MIDI values, but not MIDI data itself. It's purely an audio based effect. So it's great for coming up with rhythmic grooves, especially for synthesizers and electronic music, but you can use it on any audio or software instrument source. Um, it's not an instrument plugin. It shows up under the audio effects, under the multi effects folder, along with the other new uh, multi effects plugin that came out in 10.4, Fat Effects. So here, I've got an example here that's just a drum loop with some long notes on a bass patch and long notes on some synth string chords. Uh, let's give this a listen and see what it sounds like. So again, just long notes, kind of whole note chords. Uh, let's add step effects in on both of these and let's see what it sounds like. So step effects has really helped to create some rhythmic motion and uh, rhythmic modulation on both of these instruments. So just to demonstrate step effects, I'm gonna mute um, the bass and the drum loop, and I'm just gonna stick with the strings. I'm gonna go ahead and bypass step effects again. And what I'm gonna do is uh, first, let, let's talk about what the engine of step effects is. The engine of step effects is the mo step modulator down here. Um, what this does is it almost works like a step sequencer, uh, like I said before, but instead of sequencing MIDI notes, it modulates the various parameters of any of the modulation targets up here. The step, modulation, uh, step modulator also has three lanes to it here. So it's effectively three step modulators in one. So each one of these can have a different, uh, different rhythmic value uh, being modulated. So ignoring the XY pad for now, um, there are six effects modules up here uh, that can be used to modulate. So the uh, mod effects is a chorus or ensemble type of effect. Delay is a stereo delay that can be synced to the tempo of the project. Um, filter is a filter, um, and it has several different types of filters, including uh, low pass, band pass, high pass, several different types of those, plus some additional uh, filters down here that can be pretty interesting to use. A distortion unit, which is essentially an exciter and dirt or drive unit. Uh, a simple reverb with several different uh, reverb types. And then the master output section is essentially just the master output controls or input controls too. Um, you have your master uh, input volume and output volume. You can also change the signal flow of each of these different uh, modules to change the tone as well. So I can maybe move the filter before or after the exciter, but maybe I want the mod effects before the exciter and then I want this gate after the delay, but then I want the reverb be below uh, before the delay. So you can change up the um, signal flow of all these effects to create different tones. So to start, I'm just gonna turn off all of the effects modules and the XY pad. And what should happen is this should sound, and I'm also gonna turn off all three step modulators here. This should sound just like the, um, just like the dry signal. I've also uh, option clicked the input and output knobs to set those back to their default volume. But then when you, uh, you heard that once I kicked in the filter, the signal changed. So you can actually use step effects uh, without the step modulators down here and just use it like a traditional effects plugin. So right now I just have a basic uh, low pass filter on here. And I can use the filter cutoff to sweep through and create like a filter sweep sort of sound. So let's say that we want this filter cutoff to move and dance around in a rhythmic way. So let's kick in our first step modulator and make sure that filter cutoff is selected 
as the target. And what you'll see is now there's this blue modulation range and this white dot dancing around within that range. Now, that blue range is controlled by the depth knob over here. You can create positive or negative depth. And let's play around with these. You can also play around with the, um, the starting point of the filter as well to change the tone. So again, I said there's this little white dot dancing around within the blue range. This is what the steps in the step modulator are actually controlling. So what if I were to choose a preset down here under factory presets like all steps on, and now each of the steps is at its full value. It's basically the, the cutoff frequency is starting at its highest point for each step. So why does this little white dot keep dancing around? Well. It's because each step in the step modulator is controlled by this envelope over here. So you can essentially reset this by changing the hold value to 100% and making sure that the attack and release are at 0%. Because now you'll see that the little white uh, dot isn't moving around anymore. And when I play this back, it'll basically just sound like very, it'll sound very close to uh, the original dry signal. But if I were to go in here and alter some of these step values and try to create something that's a little more rhythmic, you'll notice that the little white dot starts moving around again. And if I play around with the envelope as well, this controls the motion of the modulation effect as well. So let's say that I want my filter cutoff to move around in a bit, a bit more slowly. Let's choose a preset under LFO here called sine wave. And what this will do is create sort of like just like a traditional sine wave based filter sweep. And let's lower the rate of each step from a 16th note down to an eighth note to make this move much more slowly. Now that's cool sounding, but we lose our rhythmic motion. So how about just step modulating the volume? Now, it seems like, I'll, I'll turn on my second step modulator here. It seems like the most practical thing to, um, to, to modulate would be the master output volume or gain or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but in reality, the, the most useful way to modulate volume and create just purely a rhythmic modulation effect just affecting the volume of the synth is with the gate mix target. Now, what I'm gonna do with this is, I've already uh, come up with a, a pre-made pattern here. Let's listen to what it sounds like right now. So right now our rate is at a 30 second note, so each step is a 30 second note, that's pretty fast. Let's pull that down to a 16th note to slow that down a bit. And there you go. Now keep in mind that this simple modulation effect that we've created can be done for almost every single knob up here in the effects modules. So I'm really just scratching the surface in terms of what you can do with step effects. And the step modulators aren't even the only modulation sources in step effects. There's an XY pad as well. So let's say I wanted to modulate my reverb mix amounts, but essentially the blend between the dry and reverb signal with the X axis, so we can go and choose reverb mix here and pull up the depth of the effect. And again, like before, this the depth controls the blue range there. And I could also control, let's say the delay mix as well with the Y axis. So we'll choose the delay mix here, pull the depth up uh, to whatever amount we want. And then when we move this dot on the X axis, you see that the reverb mix is modulated. And then when I move this up and down on the Y axis, you see that the delay mix is modulated. And moving this around and morphing this around 
can create uh, even more variation in our tone. So just to wrap up here, Step Effects is an incredibly deep and complex plugin with a lot of deep features, more so than I could possibly fit into a short video like this. So if you're interested in going really deep and learning all about what Step Effects can do, I've created a 17 part video course at macprovideo.com where I go deep and break down every element of this plugin. It's an incredibly useful tool for synthesis modulation, creating gated and motion synth sounds, you can even use it to glitch out vocals, and I've used, even used it on drums. So again, if you want to learn everything there is to know about Step Effects, go check out my course I did for MacProVideo.com. I'll link to it in the video description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.